Today I started working on a new video. So I sat down at my desk thinking I will probably just refine that sketch into a painting and call it a day. But then I thought it's probably a good idea to make a video about AI and stuff. I wonder how good the AI is these days at making landscapes because images of people are really really good. So I play around with Dolly for two minutes and I wonder if I should get a subscription for Midjourney AI only to realize there is a new update for Blender. I think, you know what, let's do a mock-up in Blender and then just do a paint over in Photoshop. Probably probably should do that. Oh, and by the way, I also Googled some reference images and I thought, you know what, I could make a bunch of cool sketches by just grabbing some of these images, get some photos and just put some castles and aliens in there and stuff. It's really cool. And between all of that, there's a lot of doubt and bouncing around between the IDs and not knowing what to do. So I wasted 30 minutes doing that and I still don't know what to do. ADD sucks. I have no workflow, no schedule, nothing. I just so show up and start doing random stuff and hope that something sticks. So yeah, that's my life now. Um, that's the end of the script, by the way. So I just start rambling now. I'm not doing anything. I'm not painting. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna put in this video. Uh, I will probably do some time lapse of some stuff that I still have to make. <coughs> we'll see. I just want to get it off my chest. I just want to talk a little bit about that struggle. It's all real, by the way. What I just told you, I. It's not something I fake, it's not something, I don't know, it It sucks. Um, I really admire people that just can just bam 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 follow a schedule and get stuff done and really have a organized workflow. I, I don't even have a workflow, let alone an organized one, I just, I don't know. I probably should get one. I probably should try to figure out what works for me. Um, the problem is, I start doing stuff and I'm like, well, this works okay. And then looking at other other people's work and I'm like, oh, that's a really good way to do it. And then I try that and then I try something else and I try something else and I never really get into a schedule myself, a workflow myself. So yeah, that sucks. I don't know what else to tell about it. It's just, you probably have seen it on the channel. I mean, the channel is like six years, no, it's 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 like five years old now. And I upload a bunch of videos and then I'm like, yep, I'm gonna do something else. And then I don't upload for a while. And then like a half year or a year later, I like, I should upload some stuff. And it's it's basically my entire life. I, I just suck at life. That's that's probably it. Well, that's not it. It's it's ADD, and um, yeah, there's meds. Medication it definitely helps a lot, but I can't take meds, or at least not a lot, not the normal amount. Uh, oh well, the normal amount, but not the normal frequency, because I get this terrible anxiety if I take the regular. The, the regular doses at regular intervals so when I, I I can take meds like once every two or three days I can take one uh, of the short working um, one I should I will probably post a uh, put a, a name on, on, on the video um, yeah that's about it and uh, they work brilliantly when when I have one of these when I take one of these it's like it takes like half an hour before it starts to kick in and when it kicks in I have like two hours of of a really good time where I can focus where I can do stuff but that's only like two or three times a week and the rest it's just constant chaos constant chaos in my head uh, it's a chaos at my desk I, I probably should start somewhere and start to organize things that's yes i'm in therapy for the one for the people who uh, wonder for a long time already well so ever since i got diagnosed well i actually was in th therapy 
uh, and the therapist said, I think you have ADD, like the second appointment. Uh, because I didn't know what, what it was, I was chronically fatigued all the time. I still am tired all the time. And the second appointment, she was like, I think you get ADD. I was like, I don't know. Uh, and she said, I'd like to test, to run a test. And they tested it, and yes, severe ADD. Um, so yeah, all my life, I, I I was 29 when the, almost 30, when the diagnosis, when I got diagnosed, and all my life I, I thought I was just really bad at managing life, at managing stuff, so everyone else around me was just better at it, and, and everybody has to deal with the same stuff, but that's not really what's happening. Um, your brain is just wired a little bit differently, and uh, that makes mundane stuff like ten times harder. At least uh, when I when I take my meds, it's it's like I go from the hardest difficulty level to like easy mode. It's just it's crazy. I don't know why I'm talking about this actually. <laughs> I don't even know if I will upload this video. I probably will. I think it's good to get it off my chest. I don't know how well it will do. I don't care. I just want to talk a little bit. I just want to get it off my chest. It's just... It just sucks. Because I like doing art. I like painting. I like coming up with ideas. I like 3D modeling and stuff. Um, but I'm so chaotic. I'm just bouncing around, and and I, I can I can hyper focus for for those who wondering uh, like uh, don't don't you have a thing like hyper focus when you get ADD or ADHD? <laughs> yes, I I can dive into a subject for like a week or two, and then I'm just like going head first and go 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 go, and then after like two weeks I'm burned out. So I have to pace myself. Um, but, yeah. As you can probably tell, the, after the, 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 the script bit, the video got really, really chaotic as well. And that's with all my commentary. I go all over the place. ADD, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm going to try stuff to to make it better i'm working with my therapist to to get some schedule in my life i i got two kids so that helps because that means that they have to stand up you have to they have to, one has to go to school um, so you, you have a certain schedule in your day uh, my wife uh, works i work from home i try to work from home um, I don't know where I was going with this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not even going to edit all the audio. I'm just going to put it out there like it is. Um... this one I don't I don't really care about the algorithm for this one I just want to get the message out there um, there's probably a lot of people struggling with the same stuff um, and I guess it's it's okay to struggle it sounds weird because I just talked about how it sucks and yes it does but it's also who I am I'm I'm this chaotic sort of butterfly that that goes everywhere uh, and likes everything. I, I I find almost everything interesting. I can't really figure out. I can't really think of anything that I wouldn't be interested in for a, for a while. I mean, I can't focus on one thing for the rest of my life. It's just I just dabble into this and into that and just like it and I already lost my train of thought again but yeah it's it sucks and it's okay at the same time 
and art is something I always go back to. I think that's that's the most important thing for me. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I dabble into and then never touch again. But art and creativity and creating stuff, it's it's something that I've always done ever since I was a kid. And it's also something I always go back to when I'm down and into a state of I don't know anymore. It's It's sort of the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like but I can do that, and I'd like to do that, and I want to do that. Um, so yes, I want to make art. Um, it's it's my lifeline, other other than my wife and my kids, of course, and and my family and friends. And they keep me going, and art keeps me going. Um, but I wish I <laughs> I could have been I I, I could be a little bit more structured, organized, so I can actually make more art and better art. I think I can, I am a decent artist if I if I want to, or if I take the time, if I'm a little, a little bit more organized, I'm, I'm, I think I can be decent. Um, but it's it's really hard. Um, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best to to do it and to to hopefully bring joy to all the people by doing it. I I have no idea where I want to take this channel, where I want to take my art. I I always liked concept art, the, the idea of uh, building a vision from 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 text for for example get a book and read about a world and imagine how that world looks and and putting that into an image um, that's always something i have done not not knowing that it could be classified as, as concept art but uh, as a kid i always imagined these worlds and i always would draw things from books and stuff like that um but I, I I like the creation part and I don't I don't really care what what you want to call it uh, but I also like the I, I also like the YouTube stuff I, I just like figuring out stuff for YouTube uh, video editing I know I don't really do a very good job at it and I don't really go into it very very much it's it's not something I would consider doing as a full time job, but I like to dabble into it. I like to learn new tricks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to combine all these things and work on the channel. The this year I I've, I'm gonna say it out loud. I I've given myself sort of a deadline. Uh, this year I'm gonna try to get monetized that means I need a thousand subscribers 4,000 watch hours um, it should definitely be possible if I if I stick to the plan of two videos a week try to make them as good a quality as possible it should be doable um, if I do it 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 will I'm, I'm like 98 percent certain it will happen that means that if it doesn't happen I didn't put in the work so that's my deadline I'm, at the end of the year I need to be monetized if I am not monetized I have to shift my focus into something else um, so hopefully that will get me motivated well I'm I am motivated, but sometimes I'm not, and then I need something to keep me motivated. So hopefully that will keep me motivated. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a weird ramble. The weirder thing is, I can just talk about it. I, I don't know how this video is going to end up looking. I don't know what what's going to be played in the background because I've recorded. I'm recording the audio right now, and I haven't done anything as in for for a painting or whatever so i'm probably gonna just make something 
Um, and I'm going to put it there in the background as something to look at. And um, from next week on, we're going to try to uh, to make a little bit more structured videos. Uh, get a little bit more of a, not necessarily tutorial, but, but more of a structure. This is just going to be me doing something. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry you had to hear this random uh, ramble about ADD. It sucks if you're out there and you have ADD. It sucks. There is help. There is meds. There is stuff you can do. But it will always be there. And that's okay. It's just part of who we are. And we, we have our good stuffs. We are creative. We uh, we can see a joy in a lot of things. Um, we're just butterflies. We're not like a bullet who goes straight from point A to point B. We're a butterfly. Eventually, we, we might go to point B, but we may never arrive at point B. We may just go here and go there and just generally have a good time. And that's okay. It's about the journey. Not necessarily about the destination. Have a good one. Bye.